From the Lovett School newspaper to the Harvard Crimson. From the AJC, this is BBC Five Live. To the BBC, from Buckhead to Baghdad, and CNN to NPR, Mary Louise Kelly is destined to cover the world. During, well, I think most of her time here, I may have been uh, attached to the foreign desk. But both of us could see that uh, the AJC, as well as other newspapers, were pulling back from foreign news coverage. It just, it was just, the expenses were just getting, getting uh, too heavy a burden to pair, bear. So uh, I made that move into, from, from foreign news into, back into to Georgia politics. Uh, uh, she went into radio. <laughs> She 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 uh, she uh, she uh, left for Cambridge, uh, I think, uh, just re pretty much at the one year mark. Got her master's in, in European studies, and uh, and uh, then hooked up with the BBC and, and and of course with NPR now. Just back from reporting in North Korea, as you know, her voice is instantly recognizable on NPR's All Things Considered, and her intellect and composure are audible too. Even when reporting on tragedies, like the 2016 Orlando nightclub shooting. Her calmness, her sense of proportion. I just think it's just, it was just what we needed that day. Because on the one hand, you know, in broadcasting, you know, broadcasting, as I've, you know, I've said many times, is a head and heart business. You, you, you know, at its best, you want to help people make sense of things. But you also, and I think this is particularly true of those of us in public media, we also want to help people process things in a constructive way. Her colleagues consider her fearless. During one assignment while flying in a Black Hawk helicopter over Iraq, she famously accepted an emergency phone call from her son's school nurse. Calling to say that my four-year-old was sick. Just, she was saying, I need, I need to ask you to come get him. And, you know, <laughs> any parent who's gotten a phone call, you, don't, you know, it doesn't matter where you are. Your heart kind of skips a beat. And I said, oh, no, you know, what is it? I cannot come get him. I am, I'm traveling. I'm overseas. I'm... And she interrupted and said, no, I don't mean to bring him home. I mean, he is really sick. He's barely breathing. We need to get him to a doctor right now or maybe to the hospital. And my heart stopped. And... I was trying to answer her when the line died. My son needed me, and I was in a helicopter halfway around the world, staring down over the snarled traffic of Baghdad. And it felt suddenly, blindingly obvious that it was time for career plan B. She also took a break from broadcasting and wrote two novels while raising her family. She has dealt gracefully with recent hearing loss and refuses to back down from challenges, whether they be a high-profile interview with the U.S. Secretary of State. I've defended every single person on this team. I've done what's right for every Can single person on this team. Can you point me toward your team. remarks where you have defended Maria Vahic? I've said all I'm going to say today. Thank you. Or helping listeners remain hopeful during a global pandemic. I got to go with Mary Louise on the first abroad trip after, you know, this first year of the pandemic. And we went to Geneva to cover the Biden-Putin summit. And just seeing Mary Louise glow being back out in the world again after this period of being kind of cooped up in our homes, having to cover the news sometimes from afar, to be with policymakers, to be in a place where news is happening. She's always the first person who's excited to take on the assignment to go report from North Korea or from Iran. And I think Mary Louise is happiest and at her best as a journalist when she is, you know, helping bring the world to our radios. The Atlanta Press Club is proud to induct Mary Louise Kelly into the Atlanta Press Club Hall of Fame.